Ahoy there YouTube, I'm back again today for another game review, and today I will be reviewing Steve Jackson Games Zombie Dice, which is for ages 10 and up, and it will take you about 10 to 15 minutes to play, more if you have more players, and one unique thing about this is you can play this by yourself if you want, you can play with two players, you can play with 20 players, as many players as you like, but it's going to take a little bit longer with more players. Let's take a look at the packaging. The packaging is pretty aesthetically pleasing. It comes in a unique little tube, which I like. It's about five to six inches tall, about two inches wide. It won't take up too much space at all. It'll fit into a purse, a backpack, about anywhere you want it to go. And in Zombie Dice, you will be a zombie. You're not killing zombies, you are killing humans. So in the game, you are trying to eat some brains. Let's open this up and take a look at what's inside. All right, let's take a look at what's inside. First, you're going to get a nice, short little instruction manual, and I love these kinds of instruction manuals because it is short, it is sweet, and it is to the point. This is a very simple game. You use this once or twice, and you probably won't use it again. How short is it? So short, the back is just advertising. We don't even need that right now because I will just show you how to play their game real quick. So in this game, as I mentioned earlier, you will be trying to not get shot in the face with the 13 dice included in there. And on the dice, you're going to get red, yellow, and green dice. And the dice are all customized. So we have the shotgun, which means you get shot in the face. This is bad. You have brains, which means you get some tasty, tasty brains. This is good. And then you have the feet, which means the human has ran away from you. This means you live to play another day. So we're going to do a sample hand real quick, and I'll just show you how to play. So we're going to put it all back in there, and we're going to shake it up. And you're going to randomly grab three dice without looking at them. So I got a green, a yellow, and a red. So I will roll them. Let's see what I got. I got one brain, I got one shotgun, and I got one set of feet. Which means one set ran away, so I will use that dice next round. I get to keep one brain, and I get shot in the face one. So I set these two to the side. Now this is a push-your-luck game. So as I told you, if you get shot three times, you lose the game. So I'm going to say, all right, I don't think I'm going to get shot two more times on my next turn. So I will grab two more dice out of the container. You will always be rolling three dice. That might not have been a good decision because I got two of the red dice, which means they're very hard. Because on the red dice, what the difference is, there is one shotgun on the green dice. There is two shotguns on the yellow dice, and there is three shotguns on the red dice. So they are substantially harder. Let's roll and see how this works out for me. Brain, 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 boom, shakalaka, that is nice. So I would put all three of those brains to the side and I would say, I'm going to push my luck, I'm going to keep going. So right now I'm sitting at four brains my turn. Like I said, the first person to get to 13 wins the game. So I would grab three more dice. This time I got green, yellow, yellow, I'd shake them up, and I'd roll them and I got, oh, I got two shotguns. What happens here is I got shot three times, I get to keep none of my brains, and my turn is over. So the person next to me would start to play. So now that you've seen how it plays, how do you win? You get to 13, and you don't just win right then, you have what's called the rebuttal rule, which means everyone else will get one more turn to roll the dice. If they can score higher than you, then they win the game. If they tie you, then you do a one-round roll-off. So that was Zombie Dice. Now I'm going to take a look at Zombie Dice 2 Double Feature, which is a little expansion released by Steve Jackson Games. Let's take a look at it. So, in the expansion, you will be getting four things. You'll get a nice, n another nice little instruction booklet, which is very simple and you'll probably only use once. Let's toss that to the side. And you're going to get three more dice to add to your container. You get Santa Claus, you get the football player, and you get the cheerleader. We'll talk about the football player and the cheerleader first because they go together. When you want to play with these, you will take out two of your yellow dice and put these in there. So, what's the difference between the yellow and this? The cheerleader is a lot harder to catch. Instead of having two feet like the yellow, she has three feet, and she still has two shotgun and one brain. So this is not a good one to get. The football player is a lot more like the red. He is very hard to kill. He has two shotguns and then the dreaded double shotgun. Yes, so that means you get shot in the face twice. So this can end your turn real quick if you get the double shotgun. However, he also has the delicious double brain. So he could be two shotguns or two brains. And the way you put you take out the two yellows, you put these in there. And there's also another unique thing to these, where if you've got the brain of the cheerleader and 
the football player comes up and shoots you in the face, both of these, you lose this brain, it goes back into the container. It also goes vice versa, where if you have the brain of the football player, if you have the double brain, for instance, and the cheerleader shoots you in the face, you lose the double brain. So it adds a nice, unique little element to the game. Now, to my personal favorite, Santa Claus. Everybody loves Santa, and the dice is no different. The Santa Claus, when you play with it, you replace the green dice. It only has one shotgun like the green dice. However, it also has a delicious double brain, and it's got an energy drink. What this does is this makes it so that if you roll the energy drink, you set the energy drink to the side, and whenever you get a green set of feet, you can set those green set of feet into brains because now you're a really fast zombie, so instead of him running away, you eat his brains. That's a very nice one to have. In addition, he also has the football helmet, which means you can now take four shotguns to the face this turn. So Santa Claus is very, very helpful. Overall, they definitely add a nice, unique element of play to the game. So that was Zombie Dice and Zombie Dice 2 Double Feature. What do I think? I really enjoy Zombie Dice. It is a fantastic game that I would recommend for anyone. I would go ahead and pick it up because it's not too expensive, it's easily transportable, and it is a great game to play when you get 10 or 15 minutes to kill. Now the expansion. I really enjoy the expansion, but the problem with the expansion is it's about 10, 15 bucks. So it is expensive, especially for only three dice. If you play Zombie Dice, or you think you'll play Zombie Dice quite a lot, then I would wholeheartedly recommend it. However, if you don't play it that often, I would not recommend it. So, overall, Zombie Dice, Steve Jackson Games, go pick it up, go eat some brains today. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you, YouTube. Have a wonderful day. That was the review for Zombie Dice and Zombie Dice 2 Double Feature. For more reviews, check out Bowers Game Corner.